What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Meteor Client with T-Launcher. For the ones of you who don't know, Meteor Client is a hack client, probably one of the best ones. Anyways, to get this, you want to first off go ahead to their official website, MeteorClient.com. This will be linked right down in the description below for you guys. Here you'll have the option to download Meteor Client for the latest version of Minecraft. If you want it for an other version, you can go to their archive over here where they have a few other versions. All the versions that are not listed here, so anything below 1.21.4, you can find in my Discord server, link in the description. Anyways, for right now, I'm just going to be downloading the latest version, so we can simply click on Download Meteor Client 1.21.8 over here. You will be brought to an ad page. This is their own one. Do not click on anything here. Wait for the timer to run out. It takes 10 seconds, then we can click on this Skip button, and then your download will start automatically. Anyways, as you can see here now, I've got Meteor Client in my downloads. So to use this inside of T-Launcher, you need to have Fabric installed for whatever version you're using Meteor Client for. In my case, that's 1.21.8, and so I want to make sure that I have Fabric 1.21.8 installed. Now I've got it installed over here. If you also do, then you don't need to enter the game. If you don't have it installed yet, then there should be an install button or whatever right here, and then you should just be able to do that. Anyways, you want to make sure the game is closed, and if it is, then you want to press on this folder button right down over here, and then you'll be brought into the .minecraft folder. Inside of here, you want to look for the folder called Mods, and if you found that, then you want to simply drag Meteor Client from your downloads into the Mods folder. If you don't see a Mods folder, that means you don't have Fabric 1.21.8 installed correctly yet. So make sure you do that. Or, of course, whatever version you're using Meteor Client for. Anyways, once you've done that, you can simply enter the game. Here inside of Minecraft, you'll know this was correct if you see this little Meteor Client credits thing right up here. Anyways, now here I am inside of a Minecraft world. Um, if you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to use Meet Your Client, then I will link that down in the description below. For right now, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get started. Um, not sure what, why this is my skin, but before I actually do that, I did want to say that I never recommend using T-Launcher. You definitely shouldn't, um, and also I actually definitely don't save any uh, crypto keys or any of that login stuff on your device while you have T-Launcher installed. Um, but, like, to be fair, if you're 11 years old and, like, you don't have anything important on some kind of weird laptop you're playing on, then no one cares and you're perfectly good using it, like, you're not going to die or something. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started with using Meteor Client. So to use it, you want to press on the right shift button on your keyboard, and that is going to open up this area. That is the right shift button, the shift on the right hand side, and this is basically the click UI. It allows you to do everything that meets your client has. So these are all utilities and we can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. And actually hovering above these is going to give you a description of exactly what they do. If that still is enough, you can right click on these as well and then you'll get an entire customization menu for the specific utility with once again the description over here as well as the option to favorite it and that'll actually pin it to its respective list. So that's nice. If you're looking for something specific, then you can search for that in the built-in search bar right over there. And for the rest, that's basically that for the Click GUI area. It's super intuitive, super easy to use. I definitely recommend you guys check this out. Really take a look at it. It has so much. One other important thing is in this render tab, you can scroll a tiny bit. It's the only one you can scroll in. But if you don't realize that, you miss out on the X-ray and the zoom, two of the most commonly used utilities. So make sure you keep that in mind. Anyways, um, in this config area over here, you can set up the way Meteor Client is configured or handled. In the GUI area, you can change all of the looks of Meteor Client. Just look at how much customization there is here. In the HUD, you can manage your heads up display. So as you can see, I've already got some elements over here um, that just tell me some more information about the world. You can edit that by clicking on this edit button. You can move them around. Or even if you right click here, then you can add a bunch of things to your screen as well. These can all be really useful if you want to see specific things. For example, a compass to know what way you're going or to be able to see your inventory without having to open it. 
Anyways, I'll just close out of there for right now. Recommend you check it out yourself too. In this friends menu, you can add meet your client specific friends. In this macros area, you can create and manage meet your client macros. And finally, in this profiles area, you can create profiles. What these do is these save all of the settings and configurations that you have set up in this client. So for example, if you do a bunch of things here, then you can save that to a profile and you can load that profile whenever you want. Anyways, finally, Meet Your Client also supports chat commands. You can type dot help in as an example. This will list all of the commands and if you hover above these, you'll get a description. Anyways, the great thing about Meet Your Client's commands is that they have autofill. So, I mean, using these is incredibly simple. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.